what is going on youtube my name is devin the barber and in today's youtube video we're going to be covering a blurry low fade on curly hair so to get straight into today's video i will be taking my gamma hitters to carve in my first initial bald line and as you guys can see i'm dropping this first guideline right here in the back pretty low just because this is a low fade i want to make sure that i give myself enough room to blend out the fade in the back So I'll begin taking off the bulk using my trimmers and I do highly recommend these trimmers right here these are the gamma evo trimmers so if any of you guys would like to purchase them you can get a discount on them with my code nevin10 and I'll be sure to leave their link in the description but as you can see I was able to knock off that bulk pretty easily and then same thing on the other side we're gonna do that same exact step trying to get that line as symmetrical as we can just as we did on the other side and be sure to drop this first line right here underneath that occipital bone in the back of your client anytime you guys do a low fade or a drop fade and now that we have that first step complete we can get into the next step with our baby list clippers all the way open so this right here is going to be cutting the hair at a 0.5 length and i'm taking this first guideline about a half inch above our skin line you guys want to make sure you keep a very consistent cutting stroke all the way through when doing this step just because this is gonna ensure that you guys get a nice blurry fade all the way throughout the scalp so make sure you get it just as clean and consistent as you did with your first initial bald line and as always to blend out that first section we'll begin doing some lever play so as you guys close the lever on your clipper just be sure to shorten your cutting stroke and I do highly recommend to zero gap your clippers if you guys haven't already this will make this step right here much easier. So you guys can see that that first line is pretty much blended out already. And I went back with my gamma foil shaver just to get it all the way down to the skin. And now to get into our next guideline, I'm gonna use the number one guard all the way open. So this right here is going to be cutting the hair at a 1.5 length and same thing i'm going to take it about a half inch right above my 0.5 section and as long as you guys have clean consistent guidelines through your haircut the fade will come out nice and blurry so just make sure like i said that your lines come out consistent all the way throughout the scalp We do want to make sure that we keep enough weight on the top of this fade and now to blend out that middle section we're going to use our half guard all the way open so this right here is cutting the hair down to a one guard length we're just going to begin closing the lever and shortening our cutting stroke as we flick our clippers across that guideline You guys can see little by little that the fade is starting to come together just be patient and let the clipper do the work all you got to do is repeat the same consistent steps and whenever blending out guidelines i personally think that it's easier to use the corner of your blade rather than the full clipper so that's why you guys can see that I'm just using the corner of the blade most of the time. And always remember that whenever cutting hair, the fade always happens from the 0 to the 1.5 guard. So you guys want to make sure to blend that out first before getting into the bulk. And now that we have our 0 to the 1.5 blended out, I did some sheer over comb just to lighten up those 
dark areas right into the bulk above our fade and it's very important that you guys use shears whenever cutting hair especially in areas like this if you guys want to get a nice clean transition from the fade to the bulk of the hair and also always be sure to roll that comb out at a 90 degree angle and now to get into the lineup I'll begin with the C cup and as you guys can see I'm, I'm keeping it as natural as I can Same thing with the clipper, like I said earlier, if you guys tilt the clipper at an angle, this will just slice and disperse the hair out. And this right here is a very effective method just to get your fade nice and blurry. So always be sure to go back and detail your work just to get it clean as possible. And not only that, remember every haircut is a walking billboard, so be sure to take pride in your work. If you guys have learned anything in this video so far please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i appreciate any feedback so if you guys are interested in any other other tutorials please be sure to drop them in the comments and same thing right here i just went back with my half guard just to detail out those last dark areas that i saw A lot of the times whenever you guys do detail work, it's gonna be with the half guard or just with uh, no guard lever open. The same thing with the trimmers. I always like to go back and hit my lineup just to ensure that everything is nice and crispy as possible. And one more time, just detailing out that bottom part of my fade with my Gold Effects Clippers. And I do highly recommend these clippers right here too, just because they are very good for detailing and blending out guidelines. And one more time with Sheer Over Comb. As you guys can see, just to finalize this blend, give it a nice soft finish. And of course, whenever you're using the razor, you guys always want to make sure you keep constant tension in the opposite direction. And finally, to finish this cut, I'll just begin trimming the top of my client's hair. So whenever I do this, I just create my first guideline in the front. You want to always make your first section in the front and then use that as a traveling guideline to the back just to make sure you know where to cut the hair. And just to give my client a nice finish when he walks out that door, I went ahead and applied some OG Walker Red Alert. And I do highly recommend this curly mousse right here as well if you have curly hair or waves. So like I said, you guys always want to make sure to take advantage of the service that you offer to your clientele above and beyond on your service by offering products, making sure that you detail their cut. Just because like I said, if you don't put those details in, another barber will. So always be sure to go back and double check your work. You guys can see this fade is pretty much complete and one more time with my gamma hitters just 
looking at that last bottom skin line. And that is about it for today's low fade tutorial. Again, if you guys learned anything, I would appreciate any feedback. Please be sure to hit that like button and drop a comment if you learned anything. Again, let me know if you guys want to see any other tutorials. And with that being said, my name is Nevin the Barber and I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one.